Let's read uh, John 8. John 8. I want to pray with you today. When I look at you, I, I feel my heart. I feel you need prayers. And after we pray with you, doors will be open for you this Amen. Can we read John 8? John 8. Verse 31. Verse 31. Jesus therefore said to those Jews that had believed him, if ye abide in my word, then ye are truly my disciples, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answer unto him, We are Abraham's seed, and have never yet been in bondage or slaves to any man. How sayest thou ye shall be made free? That if Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Everyone that committeth sin is the bond servant of sin. Bond servant means slave of sin. And the bond servant abideth not in the house forever, for the son abideth forever. If therefore the son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, yet ye seek to kill me, because my word hath, hath not free cause in you, or has not find a space in you. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In fact, you can read that from that verse 31 to 48. Jesus said, if you believe, you'll be my disciples. In other words, everything starts with believing. It doesn't end there. He said, if you believe, you'll be my disciples. And later he talked about is then you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Let's look at that verse 31 and 32 with Amplified Bible. Just he said what? So Jesus was saying to the Jews who had believed him, if you abide in my word continually obeying my teachings, and living in accordance with them, then you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth regarding salvation. And the truth will set you free from the penalty of sin. Jesus is saying that the truth will come when you are continually obeying his teaching. The truth, the revelation of what he wants you to know. In other words, all the things you know are not truth. But the truth will come when you continue in his word. The first thing you believe, you believe, it doesn't end there. Everybody can believe, Satan can believe. But he says, you can be truly be my disciple if you continue. You become my disciple. And because of that, when you are continuing my teaching, you will know the truth, and the truth will say to you, right, know the truth. Tell you about know the truth. What I told you know the truth. The truth will never come 
Until you continue in his teaching. Not when you believe only. Because when you believe. You are continuing in the teaching. Your response to the word you have received. Tell us about this a response. That is required from you. When you carry on obeying God's word or abiding in the word, what will happen to you? There will be revelation of the truth. The moment you know that truth, you are free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look when we are reading 35. Because when, if you can read there, you will see that before Jesus was telling them that if you fail to know the truth, you will be slave of sin. You know, Jesus there, he began to show them that I'm with you and I'm trying to explain to you so that you understand just you didn't marali. want to kill me. Can you just read my Matthew 35? 35. Now the slave does not remain in the household forever. The yes. son yes. of the master does remain forever. Listen to this. This shows that you are called to be in the house. You are called to represent your father. To be in the house is to represent your father. To be outside of the house, it means you are on your own. So you cannot represent your father and John, become a son until you know the truth. Because once you know the truth, you know how to respond. You know how to act. You know, when I was reading this, I began to say, I many of us, we are even crucifying Christ. If you can read, this is the same people. Jesus said, you say you believe, but you want to kill me. Read, mama. Carry on, 36. Verse 36. Yes. And then he said to them, verse 36, yes. So if the son makes you free, you free then you are free, unquestionably free. Mm -hmm. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, yet you plan to kill me because my word has no place to grow in you. Listen, the problem today we have is but what is it that the word is doing in us? Because if we continue in the word when we are tested when we are challenged when we are facing all this we continue we will know the truth we will know who is Jesus we will have revelation of understanding what Jesus was about. Jesus said, You are a slave of sin. You even want to kill me. You know, this uh, I've been seeing that in the church. I mean, people in the church, many of them are not coming for the word. And that's the reason why they can't continue in the word. And represent us. Because we need to produce somebody better than us. We need to see ourselves in you. Amen. 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 I don't know if you're hearing me. We need to see these scriptures. I mean, you becoming example of them. Now we are talking about the scripture and the fruits that must be produced which is the character required from the word when you abide and now you become a disciple and you find the truth. You find that there is no truth. You are here in the church because you don't find the truth you find friends. 
Not long I found that many Christians they don't even know each other. Is it like it's a person who wants to have a certain number? But if they are friends, they fight. They are in groups. They are in groups. Group, group, which are far apart. The revelation of the truth is not yet been found. I saw to the hale glen. If you found the truth, how can we get it? Always you want to mirror Jesus. Me tayo nyo ko chana li Jesu bobe si chana jo sagai. Okay, let's leave that. We read another scripture. Arto lengi o revale li chile li. Look at Luke, the book of Luke nineteen. Luke nineteen. If we start to read from verse five to ten. Verse five to ten. You see the story of Zacchaeus. Liko bana tawa ya sagai. When he found revelation of the truth. Ah, to tiku tulo ya niti. When he know the truth. Ah, to vatirish. Verse five. Verse five. Uh -huh. When Jesus reached the place, he, reached the he place. looked up and said to him, "Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for today I must stay at your house." So Zacchaeus hurried and come down, and welcomed Jesus with joy. When the people saw it, they all began muttering, "In discontent, he has gone to be the guest." Of a man who is a notorious sinner, Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, "See, Lord, I am now giving half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone out of anything, I will give back four times as much." Jesus said to him, "Today salvation has come to this household because he too." Is a spiritual son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Zacchaeus was a notorious man. So was Achio Nali Muto Mwe Wauzwe. The time he found the truth, na kwa ya tulang tirisho. He forgot his status. Aba liva loru na lesiem. He did what a boy can do. He climbed the tree. When he was on top of the tree, he wanted to see how Jesus was. Because he heard about him. Now he was seeking him. He could even do things that underrate his position. He climbed the tree and Jesus found him. The Bible says, you know what? When Bible Jesus reached there, he, found him. he stopped there. Listen to this. When you seek him, there are things that you will do which people can laugh at you. That does not suit your position. Zacchaeus climbed the tree. And Jesus said, Zacchaeus, I'm going to your house. The way you climb up, rush, come down. And the Bible says when they entered the house, because Zacchaeus knew he found the truth, he began to see his riches as useless. He began to try to mend the mistakes of the past. He began to correct the way he failed. He said, I have taken money wrongly. I want to send it back. And Jesus' salvation has come to the disaster. This house. Listen to this. When, when, the, when you find the truth, how when you reach a terrestrial, you will correct everything. How that push will lead to a Tell me, when you find the truth, how when you reach a terrestrial, you will just correct everything. What that push will lead to a Kamuka. I don't know if you hear me. I get some lento. I mean, this man was supposed to have said, "I found Jesus," but I cannot take away my riches. But he said, "This riches are useless." Tell me, he take it back. He said, "I have taken this riches. I 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 have taken you will be free from those things. You will send them away. You know, in 2019, I was saying, 
people being arrested by their desires. When you are a Christian, you forget your desires. You find this revelation. Zakia says, I don't care. I can rather live poor without money that I got wrongly. I can rather be alone with Jesus and face all that I can face as long as I please him. Can you tell somebody to say, hey, don't mind my situation. I found the truth. I know the truth. Listen, when you know the truth, you won't compete. You won't fight. You won't try to get you know God will be your source. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me show you another scripture. In the book of Thessalonians. If you read that verse, you will be surprised. 2 Thessalonians 2. Read from verse 9 with a verse 9. 2 Thessalonians 2. 2 verse 9 to 12. 9 to 12. Yes, listen to the verse. The coming of Antichrist, the lawless one, is through the activity of Satan. Activities of Attended Satan. with great power, all kinds of counterfeit miracles. Counterfeit and miracles. deceptive signs and false wonders. false wonders. All of them lies. And by unlimited seductive to evil and with all the deception of the wickedness for those who are perishing because they did not welcome the love of the truth of the gospel so as to be saved. They were spiritually blind and rejected the truth that would have saved them. Because of this, God will send upon them a misleading influence, an activity of error and deception. So they will believe the lie in order that all may be judged and condemned who did not believe the truth about their sin and the need to salvation through Christ. Stop but there, Mama. Stop there. Listen to this. The moment you don't know the truth, you are blind. Deception falls on you. It is easy to be deceived because you are blind. Somebody can still say, let's go this way. Let's go this way. This way is taking you somewhere. Because you can see where you're going. The truth, when you know it is there to open your eyes. The Bible says, when they fail to accept the truth, they were given to their beliefs. They were given to their teachings. That they want. And they end up believing a lie. And they were deceived. Can you hear that? Deception comes because there are things that you are searching. Not the truth. It starts by believing. Number two, it goes by saying, I yeah, want to be a disciple. I stay in his wow. teaching. Which is his way. And when you continue in that way, you found the third. The revelation of the truth. The Bible says because they could not believe and search for the truth, God gave them to their own Deceived. Can you just read again, Mama, that scripture? It's very clear. I want you to hear it very clear. Because of that, God will send upon them a misleading influence. To stop there. Because of that, God will send them 
to misleading influence. Mudi mo taba kafela, taba yau balateja. You find that you are just believing something that is not there. Ono dumelandwe ngwe singon. In the last days, it will be easy. Maja chenga bo filo taba mo. We believe so much in miracles. It will be so easy. So therefore, because of that, we'll be we'll led to believe more in those things. And we will be deceived. And we end up living a life of a life. Carry on, Mama. He said what? An activity of error and deception. So they will believe the lie in order that all may be judged and condemned who did not believe the truth. Can you hear that? You will believe a lie. There are some people that even if you come and say, please, this is not true. You can't change them. There are some people that you can tell them, you know what, this is not truth. You say, no, no, no. Think about someone coming to you and saying, my God, and he says, he's a girlfriend. Uh, you, you believe. And you have never seen that. And a girlfriend, you know, so even. You have to believe a lie. If Satan wants to get you nicely, he will inform you. Any information that comes your way is there to test your genius in the things of the spirit. Let me say it again. Any information that comes your way is there to test your genius in the things of the spirit. Okay, your ear is listening, but your heart must die. Because you're not supposed to believe a lie. There are things that you will hear. You say, I don't want to hear that. I'm a child of God. I don't want to hear that. You know, the, I think 2017. Somewhere there, 2017. I told Mama that me. You have never heard me speaking about any man of God. So, please, we must talk about anyone. Because you know what? A person, you will never know a person. You will never know a person. Until the creator of that person tells you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Do not be deceived. Do not believe a lie. Carry on, please. Verse 17. Do not be deceived. 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 I want us to read the verses we talk. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. They didn't believe it. Can you read 10? Verse 10. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ten it says, yes. and by unlimited seduction to evil, and with all the deception and wickedness, for those who are perishing, because they did not welcome the love of the truth of the gospel, so as to be saved, they were spiritually blind and rejected the truth that would have saved them. You heard that? Where salvation comes from? Is when you are, li you are limited <laughs> to the truth. Salvation comes when you begin to understand, hey, I'm limited to the truth. I, I need the truth. If not, I'm perishing. I'm perishing. If not, I'm perishing. Read 11. Verse 11. Uh -huh. Because of this, God will send upon them a misleading influence. Stop there. The Bible says, it didn't say Satan. I read Satan. It means God is tired of them. Don't be surprised when people are still calling God in their misled. Is, is God, God sending them? them? There's no knowing the truth. God will send them. Will send them. You know, one time uh, when I was starting to be saved, uh, that day I was alone in the stadium. And you know, I was tall, thin, but I And there were young, I mean, boys, you know, who were, were responding to that altar call. So, 
we pray the prayer of accepting Jesus. So after the prayer of accepting Jesus, this man who was leading us in prayer, he began to speak in tongues. After we pray. And I'm just standing there, I can't pretend. And then I can sit here. He began to say, say, Mashuguraga, Mashuguraga. Na revole lang lere Mashuguraga, Mashuguraga. I mean, I say, no, I cannot say. I don't know what. If I say Mashuguraga, what is that? Na Mashuguraga. Mashuguraga kita wakering. So I'm hearing this, Mashuguraga, Mashuguraga. Kata wala ni ane liba na badi ejual. And I say, what is happening now? I've accepted Jesus. This is what I wanted. I cannot copy him in the things of the spirit. In fact, that's what I want to teach you. Your acceptance of Jesus doesn't guarantee you to flow the way I flow in the spirit. Therefore, you cannot copy anyone. You must be the truth. That man, from the beginning, I say, I've accepted. Thank you, Lord. But I don't know about Mashuguraga. I don't know about Mashuguraga. I don't know if you hear me. There are things that, you know, know, someone can still lead you in Christ. I can still can teach you the truth. But there are things, not but all things you must take if they are not scriptural. Because the Bible wants us to continue in the way. Not to do something else. You know, I found many people now that have been misled in the things of the Spirit. But but not in truth. When we read about this woman that Jesus found on the well, there's something that that woman said that I want to show you. She said to Jesus, when Jesus found her, and she found that he's a prophet. She, she, said, said, she said, can you give me that water? That's the first thing that she said. Jesus said, ah, how can Jesus I give you this water when you are still staying with a boyfriend? Go and call your husband. She says, I don't have a husband. Jesus said, you are speaking to me. Now you are starting to speak the truth. You don't have a husband. The man you stayed with is this one you have now is the sixth one. She said, Yes, this man, Hi, he might be Christ. This man, how does he know? She began to say, You know, we have our church. I mean, you Jews, you worship them. Can you see this mountain? Our church. That's why we worship. Worshiping without the truth is useless. I don't know if you hear me. Let us not waste time about dodging. Let's go straight to the truth. Jesus said, Worshiping without the truth is useless. It's over. Because the time has come that the true worshippers they must have truth and also there must be the spirit but we are claiming to be the spirit where the truth is not there I don't know if you hear me that's why I say hey it's like you are in the spirit but you don't have the truth it's like you are in the spirit but you don't have the truth if you read 1 John 1, 5 to 8, it says, If we say we have fellowship with Him, and we still walk in darkness, we love. And we do not practice the truth. In other words, the truth must be practiced. John 1, John 1, verse 5 to 8. Chapter 1, verse we must not say we are Christians and we still have fruits of the darkness. We are lying, we don't have the truth. Can you see that? Can you see the verse there? 
Psalm 51 verse 8. The truth is not outside. Because God sees inside you. It's not outside. You can pretend outside. But God can see inside. Can you read Psalm 51 verse 8? Psalm 51 verse yes. 8. Yes. Make me hear joy and gladness and be satisfied. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Mm -hmm. At 9. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clear heart, O God, and renew a right and steadfast spirit within me. Carry on. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways you and make... sinners shall be converted and returned to you. Read Psalm 51 verse 8. 8. Yes. Make me hear joy and gladness and be satisfied. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Okay. Can you read 9? Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Yes. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right and steadfast spirit within me. Those verse will never come to pass unless verse 6 is in your life. If you want God to honor you with purity, check your, your inside. Let me read verse 6. Behold, thou desert truth in the Amen. inward parts, and in the hidden part thou will make me to know the wisdom. Amen. And the wisdom that you will know will make you to ask God what is needed that will purify you. You will have joy inside. You'll be purified inside. Outside they'll be talking about your past. Your mistakes, your Whatever, whatever they know. But inside, inside, you are the one who's needed. You know, I don't forget this story of uh, Prophet Samuel. Going to Jesus' house. When he look at Eliab. Because I have tried him. Think about, think about when God look at you and say, I have tried you, but you are not if you are inside is purified when you confess it you mean it when you, when you have truth inside he who sees inside will reward you open today we are so Beautiful outside. inside. Outside we look Christians. We look chosen. But inside not David say, Lord. David You look, you you desire my inside when to be pure. I will do, you desire me to be like you. How many of you, when they say no, you mean no? The truth inside, inside will make you to know your purpose. is no truth. Some people, when we say, but they will bury you. 
when we say you have gone to heaven there will be other people who say ah pastor is a liar you know i don't forget i went to the funeral long time ago keleka ya pulukong kai kai khale long time ago khale sela in a place called blood river go dul tulong ya bareki blood river when i was there ha ke leke we the brother that was buried there was one years na na le mengwa ya 24 he was stabbed the wings ne ba mo thabile ka tsipa na le ka ditsotsi and the pastor was just say we know morotara reatsi he went to heaven we le le odimo we know he went to heaven reatsi ba o tsene le odimo and his friends were say ah bo mo khotse ba eh ya tsotse 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 yo nae tsotse because tsotse yo nae knows him coming to church but he doesn't know inside some people they are like that they are not in the church but they are in the world 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 Your inside If you walk in the truth How this am I year, I want to give you a prophecy that prophet of South Africa You will be example in the family When God want to do something he will start by you If you believe shout hallelujah, hallelujah. What has really made me to be like this? The way I am today. I told mama that even if God is not blessing me is God. If things are coming wrong way, I will take them. I can rather wait for the time of God. I'm here to tell you that when you come to the Lord truth, God will set his time for you. And that time is coming. That time is coming. Time of advertising you. I'm here to tell you that God is about to raise you in truth. He can promote you. When people are degrading you. When people are criticizing you. When people are criticizing you, when people are criticizing you, stand in the truth. When I am material, it's only God who will raise people. He will raise you. You are in a season where the truth is needed. Let them hate you. When you are speaking the truth, let them sidelight you. When you are standing in the truth, let the truth shine. And the truth shall be seen. Listen to this. I want to prophesy something when I'm shouting here. I can see that you are being rejected. But your God is still on your side. He will never leave you. Just abide in His word. Stand in His truth. This season is your season. I say it is your season. When somebody says, "Hey, I'm speaking the truth." I know the truth, and I won't fall down. Don't try to pretend. 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 You want to lie, not no, stand in the truth. That's to show favor. Can I tell you this? The wind will blow to test you if you are joining in truth. That wind does not blow only on you. It blows to everyone who is a Christian. God is allowing that wind but stand where you are standing. Stand where you are standing. Tell yourself, I cannot be carried away. I cannot be taken away. I want to stand my ground. In the truth. In truth. And you will prevail. I see you prevail. I see you prevail. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me give you last scripture. We close. Ask your neighbor and say, Are you sure you have truth?
Go we share my kuru mara wena ona litere shoka niti. Before I finish preaching here, you must remove your phone and show every secret you have not shown. Ya ke so fetse hore ba e untse phone ya o untse makuno to ka o fela o sanka wa bontsha. To show you don't have a house. O untse rona niti. There's a, a phone that when it rings. Ona le phone yengwa ha e ka no thomola namo. You stop it by style. O ye maka se o ye tima ka se style. Another one when it rings. You run outside of the house. Very so you don't have the truth. There's another one. When it rings, it's written a name which is not true. It is written Papa. Porridge. Porridge. But there is something beyond porridge. Another one it rings there. It is written habu. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Voros. Voros. If you can see behind Voros. How come I can tell you sausage in one way? You find it's extra marital affairs. No truth. But all the time in the church, you are speaking in tongues because you can't pray in your language. No truth. Many people who are speaking in tongues, they are failing to pray in their language. They are failing to pray in their language. They are failing to pray in their language. It will make you to be arrested one day. In John 17, verse 17. John 17, 17. I don't have the truth. I don't have the truth. You don't have the truth. After church here, calling someone. Go on. Go on. I'm seeing you. And the person you are calling doesn't mind about the church. Why are you reporting, reporting it? Why are you reporting that the church is out now? Why do you report to someone? Why do you report that the church is now out? Because you are doing something which is not, which is contrary to the word of God. Your parents are tired. Do you know their parents were crying here? They just say, oh my God. Where is this child going to end? Can you just read verse 17? Sanctify them in the truth. Sanctify them in the truth. Set them apart for your purpose. My God. Make them holy. Your word is truth. This verse shows that God verse will never chan. send anyone in his mission who doesn't have the truth. God will never give you anything that will glorify his name if you don't have the truth. Set them on purpose. Sanctify them with the truth. Listen to this. Whatever you say, you say you want to do it in the church. You are going to meet a temptation of it. So that you must not do it. The moment you say, me, I'm a charis member, I'm not going anywhere. You have tried to bring a problem to yourself. Things will come to take you somewhere. So you have to be sanctified in truth. And set on purpose. In other words, God will set you aside. That when things come to remove you. From what you have believed and what you have spoken. You will never be removed. And the purpose of God upon your life. Will come to pass in your life. God wants to do something with you. God wants to do something with you. But the truth of following God in your life. Your life is not going to be needed in your life. Your life is not going to be needed in your life. Your life is not going to be needed in your life. Your life is not going to be needed in your life. Your life is not going to be needed in your life.
a moment, just like Charis here, we are preaching. Don't do this, don't do that. But you were surprised, it's what you're doing. After church, I don't know what I'm doing. You're full. After church, you're full. 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 If we take your phone, it will represent your heart. This phone, it will represent your heart. I pray that you put the phone aside. We take the Bible close. Because the way you are holding the phone, and the way you are holding the Bible, your phone is better than the word of God. And that's the reason why we are moving forward with blindness. That's the reason why we are doing what other people are doing. That's the reason why there's a competition in our businesses, in our jobs. Whereas the Bible says we are different. And we are created fearfully and wonderfully made by God. I'm not supposed to do what you're doing. But today we are doing the same because we cannot hear a revelation from the truth we were supposed to be very who are we in the spirit but today we are copying each other even the hairstyle you have we want it somewhere isn't it you saw it somewhere has it not is it not true ask your neighbor where did you get this hairstyle I was born somewhere. You saw it somewhere, isn't it? And what is that God is saying about you? What is that God is saying about you? About you? If you go to my mother, I will tell you that when I was small, if they make cheese cup on me, I'll be angry the whole day. But look at yourself now. Because when you do cheese cup, in our school day, we do like this. But look at yourself. Now. It is your style now. Your cheese cup is your style. Cheese cup is style. You need, you need, you need that. But you got it somewhere. Whatever you are doing now, you saw it somewhere. I am praying that God have to reveal you. You find yourself when you are studying this year. You become a Christian of purpose that will fulfill God's purpose, not copying other people. When you hear about a business, a business agent, and you hear someone is successful, you want, you want to do it. Sometimes you come close to a person, you want to take it. I want to pray, pray for you. In truth, you need to find yourself. This year, find yourself. Know yourself. And God reveal you to yourself. May God reveal you to yourself. Tell them I want to stand in truth. Can you tell seven people? And when you are standing up, I'm closing now. Do you know the truth? Are you free? Ask someone close to you. Who are you? Ask that question, who are you? Are you having the truth? Are you sure? Look at the person you will see. You will see lies. This year, truth, truth, truth. 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 Teresh. You are about to be tested. Lift up your heads. Ask God, oh God. I know I failed many times. I know I failed many times. Before you. Before you. 
help me help me to stand in truth to stand in truth help me to know the truth help me to know the truth the truth of your word prayer the truth of your word pray that prayer I can hear you when you pray. Ziketota. I want to know the truth. Africa tabayazi. I need the truth. I need the truth this year. Open my eyes because of the truth. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lying, you know, it comes natural. Because it shows who is in you. Even when you want to do what is right, you find yourself doing wrong. So he was unto you. It's not from God. What makes people today to do everything? Even if we can tell them, even if we can preach, stop! Stop! They carry on doing it. They can stop today and do it tomorrow. No truth. No truth. In this last days, you can tell yourself, I need to be faithful to God. I need to be a child of God. A disciple. If you know you don't have truth, you are on and off. Let me give you a chance for this altar. You can run forward here. Stand here before God. This is before God here. This is before God. When we are playing a song, no truth. Even if we tell you, don't do this, you do it. Amen. Amen. Lio Inkaba Ofepe Lakoda Uyagu Sintiswa Ochezi
close our eyes, raise up our hands. Follow me as I'm going to pray this prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I am a sinner. Father, from today, I confess my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Jesus. I was trying to do the truth. But I'm failing. Today, Lord, I confess with my mouth, believing in my heart, that Jesus Christ, you are Lord. Father, wash me clean with your precious blood. Make me your child again. Father, from today, I'm ready to be the true worshiper. The worshiper that will, that will praise you in truth and in spirit. Make me your child again. Make me your child again. Father, from today, I receive you as the Savior and my Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for making me your child. Thank you, Jesus, for washing me with your blood. Father, from today, I'm born again. I'm going to live the truth. Holy Spirit, thank you for being my director. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Listen to this before you go here. Satan knows you very well. Satan lets you have what say. He knows that you fail somewhere. And he wants to hold you by your past. And he will keep on repeating, making you to repeat the same mistake. And try to show that you are defeated. This prayer you've prayed, you have overcome Satan. So to show that you have overcome, you will come in another way. Don't forget where you have fallen. Tell yourself that you are a child of God. And you will never fall on that trap again. I want to say congratulations. God bless you. God bless you.